If you ever thought that animals with superpowers were the stuff of science fiction, it's time to think again. Superpowered creatures are all around us. Bugs. What makes Micro Monsters unique is that we've used traditional cinema 3D camera rigs and made that footage available inside virtual reality. And that means that users have the opportunity to see arthropods and all their incredible behaviors in fantastic detail, produced at 8K and 60 FPS. All of this is finished off with a really amazing immersive sound design. MicroMasters gives folks in VR headsets the experience of being shrunk down to the size of small insects. Ants, beetles, spiders. They see the incredible world of insects not as observers, but as participants at the same scale. Once you've established that a thing is small, the fact that it is small becomes less interesting than what they're doing. And of course what they're doing, if you are looking at things in great magnification, is nearly always a revelation. Attenborough and I wanted to see the bugs world in a way it had never been seen before. We realised that the best way of doing this was to develop a 3D stereoscopic camera that would put the audience right inside the bugs world. The cube camera, instead of having two lenses like these, it has just one lens and at the back of it a prism which splits the one image into two lenses and puts them into different cameras which caters for the difference between our two eyes. It's one thing to make new technology work, it's another thing to get the right behaviour on camera. There's always a concern about how the creatures might react once you're on location. You put the rig and the lights up ready to film. Well, the secret, as in almost everything else, is knowledge. If you know enough about why they behave in that way and how they behave in the right way and what stimulates them to behave in that way, then you can control that and sometimes reproduce it. The really funny thing on that production is as soon as the production started, COVID happened. And it was challenging simply because we were working with a team in Thailand, one in Australia, we were in London, and we were collaborating with Facebook in California. So we had to really organize our work to make sure that everyone would be able to work and know exactly what they had to do. But at the end, it went really smoothly. We had exactly the content we needed. And I think everyone creatively understood the contents. When you see it with a headset on, and it's a sublime scale when you're watching it in the headset, the detail is just incredible. When I first saw the content, seeing these creatures, they had this kind of really gruesome, almost creepy kind of feel, but at the same time beautiful because of the detail that was in the shot. I just really enjoy it, looking at animals in a way that really have never seen them before. The main tasks of the visual effects department were to repackage and repurpose already filmed material for a virtual reality delivery. My favourite part of the project was when we finally nailed the set extension work and we saw in the headset for the, you know, the first time the, the beautiful full field of view shots which looked far better than we ever anticipated they would look. In order to create the set extensions we worked with a compositor called Tim Bear. What Tim created was a system to remap rectangular images onto a sphere without causing distortions and while maintaining stereo integrity. And once he had done that, he had to come up with cunning ways of being able to selectively zoom into different regions of the image so that, say, our hero of the image, a centipede or a praying mantis, would look an, a nice, comfortable size. The final product is something uh, we are really quite proud of.
was pretty amazed when I started to see MicroMonsters come together in working drafts. There was a risk in deciding to adapt content that had originally been shot for traditional rectilinear presentation. Alchemy Immersive's work in set extensions and their tremendous attention to detail showed that an immersive interpretation was absolutely effective. At Alchemy, we're always trying to tell compelling immersive stories using the latest technologies available. And so working with Oculus and Eric and his team has been really important to this project. It's allowed us to access the latest evolutions in hardware, meaning that people can see these incredible micro worlds in high resolution. But it's also allowed us to solve a challenge that we often face in making virtual reality, which is distribution. Micro Monsters will be available for free for people to view via Oculus TV, so it makes the content for the first time really accessible to audiences all around the world. We timed the release of Micro Monsters to coincide with our new headset, Quest 2. Quest 2 is a high-resolution VR headset and is actually able to take advantage of an 8K video stream. The 8K resolution and the 60 frames per second means that you get the opportunity to see the arthropods in incredible and awe-inspiring detail. I'm really proud of the team because I feel that we've created a VR series that finally lives up to the expectation of users inside virtual reality. And I'm really excited for everyone to have the opportunity to see it firsthand. Immerse yourselves in the strange and dangerous world of the Micro Monsters.